Alrighty guys, g'day and welcome to another video by the Laser Sports Academy. Uh, in today's video we're going to do kind of like a follow up on the previous video that we posted on uh, door comms. And we're going to be having a look at three of the more common um, mistakes that I see like frequently um, when people are defending on the doors, but specifically focusing on the mistakes they make with their communication. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so the first of the mistakes we're going to be looking at today is uh, calling after taking a duel. So it's something that's really tempting to do. Obviously, like um, taking a duel against an opposing player can like take up quite a bit of like your mental capacity, I guess. Like and if you're not focusing on the duel and they're focusing on the duel, then it's like it's you know it makes it a little bit easier for them to win that duel. So it's really tempting to not say anything until afterwards. However. Um, there's a lot of situations, like depending on the layout of the door, where the duel takes place on the door, where if you don't con anything until the duel is taking place, and let's say you lose that duel, um, by the time you say front now or whatever it is, even if you say it straight away, sometimes that person that you lost the duel to is already in the base, they've already tagged your last line, and you know before you know it, they're one, two shots under the base, and then they've finished it, and they've tagged like, your other defender on the other side. So. <laughs> really tempting to do, but also really easy to fix. Um, so the way I think about it is um, anytime someone comes to my door and I don't know when they're gonna activate, or let's say I know they're gonna activate in about three seconds, that's when I use the loading, and let's say I'm on the front door green right now, I would say loading front. One loading back! Backs up now! And what that does is it gives my last line and my defender on the other side of the base, if, they're, if they can hear it, um, a little bit of like pre-preparation to, hey, I'm about to take a duel against someone. If I lose, you're gonna be ready for a front comm. Um, and the difference between using that loading comm and giving your last line some like preparation beforehand versus just like urgently like, be like oh, front now, and then they're already in the base kind of thing. It's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it makes a pretty big difference. So, and, but also by like, obviously you don't want to con while they're activating because one, it's like pack masking and two, like, you know, it's like kind of like, you're not really, it's hard to take a duel and like con at the same time. But by saying it like a few seconds beforehand, you know, you've done the, the work beforehand, you've let them know you're about to take a duel. Now you can focus on that duel, do your best to win it, obviously. Um, and then if you win it, cool, you call clear front. If not, you can say front now, and your last line the base is going to be far better prepared to deal with that. Alrighty, the next mistake we're going to be looking at is uh, polluting the comm space. So what do I mean by comm space? So, obviously when we've got 15 people in an arena, everyone's comming something, everyone's trying to convey that information pretty well, so they're usually going to put some volume on their voice when they do that. Um, so there's times where it can be really difficult to actually figure out what anyone is saying, um, especially if you're not attuned to their voice. You know, if you've played with your team for a number of years, you get to the point where you can kind of like, almost like cancel out everything except like what your team's saying. Um, but in saying that, we still want to do as much as we can to try and keep the comm space clear. Uh, but one of the mistakes people make um, without really thinking about it is they pollute that space by saying too much. Um, so there's a couple main ways that that manifests. The first of which being um, just not coming efficiently in terms of like the amount of words you use. The back door is now clear. There is one loading on the back door. Clear on the back door. So let's say I'm on the back door of green right now. Um, instead of saying one back when someone's coming to the back door, saying there is one on back door. So it's not much of a difference, but there's a few extra words in there that are just unnecessary and it takes a little bit longer to convey the information. Um, so that's one of the ways that people pollute the airspace is by using too many words when they're trying to convey, convey uh, comms and stuff. And the second way they do it is, um, this one's really tempting to do. I still do it to this day. Um, it happens in like really urgent situations like 
um, I'm the door defender and there's a bunch of people coming through the back door that I'm defending and rather than going like back now um, going back 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 a lot of the time like sure sometimes they'll be able to like understand what you're saying and maybe they get it and they shoot back door cool um, but there's a bunch of times where they might not even hear what you're saying because of like how urgently and how quickly you're saying and they go what is it oh, I've been shot out of the base or another way that um, you could be punished for, for doing this is let's say I'm screaming back, 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 back and sure they deal with the back door but because I was screaming so loud and polluting the comm space they didn't hear the front door defender say that there's one loading on front and then they lose their jewel after and then after my last lines dealt with the back door they weren't ready for the front now comm and then they get shot out at like maybe it's like a millisecond difference or something but um yeah there's a bunch of different ways it can impact the game but Again, a really easy uh, mistake to fix. All you do is um, try and resist the urge to do like really urgently and frantically, just like spamming the same word in chat um, and just using it like once. Like if your last line hears you, they, they know what's coming. Especially if you were using good comms before that, like if you said three loading back and then you said back now, um, they're going to be ready for three people on the back door, if that makes sense. Like, you don't have to say back, back, back to mean that there's three on back door, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, and then the, yeah, the whole, like, using too many words, just cutting out any of, like, the fluff words, like the ands and the, I don't know, any of the fluff words. Only use the really necessary words, so one front, clear front, not, there is one on the front door, the front door is now clear, stuff like that. Alrighty, so the last of the three mistakes we're going to be covering today is um, relative to the first two mistakes we made is like not as impactful but as we kind of keep hopping on at the Laser Sports Academy um, getting better and getting to that like high tier of play is all about collecting these little like one percenters to improve your game. <clears throat> Eventually you collect enough of these one percenters and you're performing at the highest levels and a lot of the time the difference between winning and losing a game is those little one percenters. So the one we're going to talk about now is the order in which you say your comms. So to give an example, let's say I'm on the front door, um, I'm doing a pretty good job and a person came, I said loading front, cool, I won the duel. Instead of saying clear front, I say front clear. It might not seem like it makes much of a difference, but the first word that my last line's gonna hear, if, if I were to do it in the wrong order, is front. And most of the time, the last lines are kinda, you know, they're, they're, they're tuned in, so as soon as they hear front or a back comp, they look that way. Most of the time, it probably doesn't end up in resulting in like a, a drop base or anything, but 1% of the time, maybe more, whatever, um, I say front clear instead of clear front, my last line looks towards front because they heard front first, and then as they look towards front, um, they get a back now come, and they're not like ready to deal with that, like not as ready. Um, maybe they pop off, they get the person anyway, but occasionally you'll see it happen where I would call front, uh, uh, front clear, as they look towards front they get a back now con, now they have to turn back to the back door and you know it slightly reduces the chances of them winning that encounter so yeah. Relative to the other mistakes not nearly as impactful but for those of you that are really want to collect those little one percenters and really wanted to crack into the high tier um, this is just another one of those one percenters that is really worth um, adding into your game. Alrighty, that wraps it up for our three common mistakes when like door coming um, for today. There's like a million other co uh, mistakes that people make when they're coming, uh, whether that's in defense, when they're relaying information to their captain or their like other teammates, um, or the captain like trying to convey strategies and stuff to the team. So many more mistakes that get made. This is just three of them. We'll definitely cover more of these mistakes in a future video. But um, yeah, for now, let us know if you liked the video. If you have any suggestions or anything, drop it down in the comments. Um, I'm really keen to hear it. I'm trying to make a point of when I'm asking people what videos they'd like to see and they tell me, actually making a point of making those videos, that's my objective for the next two months at least, um, is exclusively videos that have been requested by you guys. So yeah, I don't want you to feel like 
Um, if I ask, hey, what videos do you want to see, and then you tell me, then I'm just like going to ignore it or think it's like a bad idea. Um, I'm really trying to go out of my way to make those videos happen. So yeah, let me know, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.